Welcome back. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Today we have another collection video. We have my Sega Game Gear collection. Uh, this Game Gear collection is very small, so uh, trying to make this quick. Um, a little background story, I actually got this case, um, this Game Gear case at Kobe Swap Meet in San Diego, California. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Kobe Swap Meet is where Pat the NES Punk uh, does his Flea Market Madness videos. I've never seen Pat the NES Punk, but um, yeah, I've been to Kobe's many times. Um, funny enough, I, I bought the case um, for $10.00. And it came with like two Game Boy games um, inside it. It was really random. But um, I thought it was going to be dope for my Game Gear to have a case. And I actually brought it home. And I opened the back and there was like 11 Game Boy games in there. Uh, Milan's Castle I think is the one that was in there. Uh, Bugs Bunny. Um, a bunch of other Game Boy games. So that was, that was a pretty good surprise. Anyways, let's get into the Game Gear collection. Um, I have not opened this bag in over four years. Um, it's been in storage, so I'm actually going to open it for the first time. And uh, we'll see what we have here. Very small Game Gear collection. Oh, alright. So here we have it. Um, right off the bat, we have the Chess Master for Game Gear. We'll just knock these games out. Um, we have Desert Speed Trap, Roadrunner, Wiley Coyote, so that's kind of cool. And we have Double, Donald Duck, Double Duck Trouble. I think, um, the Game Chasers actually, Billy actually really likes this game on the system. So... Starting off with a few games here. Let me show you my game gear. I have the blue game gear. Very nice. This is an eBay pickup a while ago when I was getting into game gear. Inside we have Sonic 2 the Hedgehog. I'll put that back. And um, for those of you who don't know, Six batteries in this bad boy. Three in here, three in here. Um, I've never been interested in that, so I actually have. Um, I'll sit that down here. I actually have a wall charger for it. Jeez. I have a wall charger specifically for it. So when I play it, um, I just, if I'm ever going to play this, I'll just plug it into a wall. Batteries are so expensive. <laughs> This thing drains batteries and it makes it heavy and bulky and it's just not good. Um, this this is a really good Game Gear. I think it was actually refurbished like when I bought it. It actually had like the new uh, screen. Uh, the volume was like enhanced, all that good stuff. So very nice. I barely played this thing, if I'm being honest. Went into the Navy and it sat in storage. So yeah. Um, I will go through uh, my game collection. Um, very small collection. I think I have like 14 games, 3, 6, 9, 12, about 14 games. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Game Gear to my Video Games Monthly box uh, so I can get some more games for it. Um, some of you guys out there have been getting some pretty good Game Gear games. I think um, oh, Mike... I think you out there, I watch your videos, I forget your username. I think you've gotten some pretty good Game Gear stuff. So I may add that to, uh, to Video Games Monthly so I can bo booster up this collection. But uh, right here we have a Formula One. We have... Oh, here's a good one. Sonic Drift 2. Maybe if you can make sure the games are in there. Are you getting them? Man. Sonic Labyrinth. Labyrinth. You gotta have the Sonic games when you're when you're collecting for um, Sega. Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. Uh, 
You gotta have Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, come on, guys. All right? Oh, geez. sorry about that. This is one of, probably my only imported game. It's Sonic Drift, the original. Um, this is not region locked, so you can play this on the Game Gear. I thought since I had Sonic Drift 2, obviously having the original would be uh, really good. So I love me some racing games too, so. Sonic Chaos. Sonic Triple Trouble. A bunch of Sonic games. Classic here, Lion King. Great platformer. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I guess... I guess I have a double of that. I'm pretty sure this is Sonic that I talked to. Ah, double. This is a very common game. I think this is actually a game that came with the case. Because I think the case came with it came with a couple games. I think it came with this and a couple Game Boy games. And then I got some bonus games in the back when I found, when I took it home. But And last but not least, a, a Genesis slash Sega exclusive, I think. Echo the Dolphin. Um, yeah, so, uh, Game Gear, uh, I believe was definitely ahead of its time. Um, it, it showed in color, the games were in color. Uh, some games I really want to get for are probably like Mortal Kombat, um, oh, uh, Streets of Rage, I believe, is on here as well. Uh, some of those, some of the, the Sega, um, I'm missing a lot of games, so. Some of the Sega, uh, Sega franchise. There's so many games I'm missing, so I think I'll probably add this to video games monthly. Maybe try to weave out the games I don't want on there when I check them off. And uh, yeah, um, I need to build this collection up. It's a really cool system. And uh, nothing much else here to show. I have a car a car charger for it. I have no idea where I got that or if it even works. Um, and I also have the little magnifying lens. Uh, it's actually a Sega magnifying lens so that's pretty cool yeah guys uh just a quick video uh collection video i uh, thank you guys so much for watching tune in for more collection videos let me know of some sega game gear games that i have to have i want to know the uh the top games and ones i should be going for so uh thank you for watching two faced solo and i'm out